I'm Fuddled Fox FM and this is Bite Sized FM, Football Manager in Under 10 Minutes. Just because of circumstances within the game, how the fixtures are falling, we've got these European qualifiers that aren't against decent teams, even for our standard of team from the Swiss League, which is the 12th best league in Europe at the moment within the game. They're not against really good teams, sort of quite poor Norwegian teams we've played and Slovakian teams. So I'm going to do a transfer special and take a look at the tactics today. That give me a chance to play into the season a little bit, get to a game that's worth doing. So as I promised at the end of last season, I was planning on doing quite a bit of business. We have done, we've actually brought in 1.9 million in transfers with players leaving. If I take a look, obviously there's a fair few players gone out on loan. There's free transfers as well. But we sold Sangone Sai. He's been at the club since the start of the game. Have them featured hardly at all even in the challenge league and we got 135 grand for him going to FC Fun. K Voss who's featured on and off he was ever present during our challenge league season and since then on and off in the team's gone on a free transfer. Who else? None of these players are big names. Ruin Hennings had one season last season, didn't really score enough goals, scored four goals for us. And although he was a little bit in and out of the team because of the form of Dua Mena, he still, I just didn't believe he was good enough for us. Granada offered 400 grand, so I let him go. Imaru Bangura, again, good for us in the Challenge League, let him go on a free transfer, paid off his contract. He had one year left, He'd pretty much been moaning ever since I started at the club that he wants to leave. No one's ever really wanted him. It wasn't good enough compared to the other centre-backs we brought in, so I paid him off. Nassim Ben Khalifa has gone to Rosenberg in Norway. 625 grand for him, so decent bit of profit there as we signed him for nothing. And Funzo Ojo hadn't planned on selling, actually. Only gave him a new contract towards the end of last season. He kicked off because of just because of how the rules go in Europe where you have to have these homegrown players but homegrown from the club didn't have enough within the squad so had to leave a couple of players out him and Hermoso were left out Ojo kicked off Hermoso didn't said he wanted to leave so I granted him his wish it's gone to Astana for 700 grand who are our Astana to Astana in Kazakhstan so he's gone out there to play his football so with all that money we've brought in, I've only actually spent 900,000 so far. Well, I say so far, probably this is going to be it. Can't see us. Possibly one more player to go will be Dua Mena because he does want to leave. This club sniffing around, but I've just got to agree a price with him. I don't want to let him go cheaply. The only player we spent any money on was Hans Heitboer. He is Dutch. He came in from Atalanta in Italy. He's a right back, which is what a position we really needed to cover. And yeah, he's okay. Physically, could be a little bit better, definitely pace-wise. But strength's really good and he's really fit, which is important for a fullback. He's determined. Yeah, good spread of mentals, actually. Work rate 14. Again, could be just that little bit higher. But he is playing as a, as a fullback, so it's not quite as important as playing as a wing-back where you're getting up and down the pitch. He brought in Barama and Doi. He came in from FC Sion at the end of his contract. He also is trained in Switzerland, so he gives us that Swiss player, even though he's Senegalese with two caps, he gives us that homegrown player quota. Decent physicals there for a centre midfielder or defensive midfielder. Nice stamina, good balance. Mentally as well, he's pretty strong. Technically not the best. He isn't going to be one of our first choice, but he definitely adds to the squad and he adds to the homegrown quota. Absolutely delighted. We got Sin and Kurt in at the end of his contract. That was always my plan when we got him on loan for last season. Been an absolute assist machine for us through his career. This will be his fourth season now with the club. Brought in Taiwo Iwoni from Liverpool at the end of his contract. He's coming in as a replacement for Duomena when he finally goes. Like Duomena, he's really quick. Like Duomena, he's determined. Good finisher as well. Another player coming in from a Premier League club is Jack Stevens, centre back, or he can play defensive midfielder. Came in from Southampton at the end of his contract. Physically good, but really good all round range of attributes. Plenty of orange in there, no green unfortunately. Marking a 13, tackling a 13. He's 25 years old, he's not likely to improve 
I think he, by the fact I wasn't looking for a left back, we signed Ulysses Garcia simply because I couldn't resist. He looks really, really good. 23 years old, came in from Werder Bremen. Again, at the end of his contract, starting to get a theme. Really, really quick, 16 pace and 14 acceleration. Really good work rate at 16 and a, a good range of mental attributes. Aggression 16s, pretty decent. His tackling is only 11 though, so I'm gonna kind of have to watch the bookings because those two do link up together. In high aggression, you want quite high tackling. If they're gonna go steaming in, you want them to be able to tackle. Concentration's not quite the best, but teamwork's pretty decent. Positioning can definitely improve, so can marking. Crossing the 14 is really nice, though, so we can get in, if he can get into crossing positions, he can deliver a decent ball. And we have ourselves a wonder kid. Jose Palamique has come in from Belgrano. Free transfer. He was coming to the end of his contract, didn't want to sign a new one at Belgrano, wanted to come to Europe. Flair of 15, teamwork of 15. Really, I think that should be a vital stat personally for a playmaker to work well with the team. Vision of 14, that can go up. Passing of 14, that can go up. Excellent first touch of 17. And even physically, he's pretty decent for a playmaking midfielder. Finally, another Argentinian, promising striker this time, not a wonder kid. He's only 18 years old. Gonna be more of a backup, really. But looks like he could have some pace as he develops. Certainly good acceleration, hopefully his pace will go up with it. Determined as well, like a determined player. Flair of 17 as well. Okay work rate for a striker, 12. That, again, that should go up, all these mentals should really go up. Finishing's not very good at 10. Three kicks of 16, it's very nice though. 14 dribbling, first touch of 13, technique of 15. So hopefully that first touch will go up as well. And yeah, looks like he could be a prospect. And then we extended some of the loans we had last season with Sal coming back in on loan from Anderlecht to play right back. We got Reza Hoxar back as well from Chelsea. Did okay for us at the end of the season last year. Got a couple of goals, didn't he, in games, including one in the final game of the season that helped get us into Europe. I'd mentioned it before, we'd had him on a two-year loan from Juventus, Rolando Mandragora, going to be really important again as a deep line playmaker for us. So in terms of how we're going to use all these players this season, we're going to be going with a 4-2-3-1 and a 4-1-2-2-1 as our two main formations. We've also got the block formation, which is simply just if we need to hold out towards the end of a game, try and get bodies back behind the ball. Tricky games where I want a bit more cover in front of the back four. I'm going to go with the 4-1-2-2-1. Simple instructions, just shorter passing, closing down more, prevent short goalkeeper distribution. Up front, we've got three attacking players, we've got the advanced forward, two wingers. Although, what I've done on both these formations is wingers are going to be swapping constantly through the game. So, Sinenka will go out onto the right as an inside forward, Brown will go out onto the left as an inside forward. Just give the fullbacks a little bit more to think about teams' whole defensive line. Just that different thing happening all the time. They don't quite know who they're going to be coming up against, and they have to keep them on their toes. Open to use the 4 2 3 1, a little bit more than the other formation this season. And the same instructions as well shorter passing, close down more, and prevent short goalkeeping distribution. Luckily, they're already starting to get quite familiar with these formations. Team shape on both is just flexible, mentality standard. I can change that as and when, see how games are going. I want to try and keep things simple this season. Got a bit bogged down last season, keep trying to change the tactic, trying to just find something that works. Once you start getting into that mindset, you just find yourself just changing things. Just, oh, I've lost a game, I'm going to change things. And the players don't know what they're doing. I don't know what I'm doing as well. So we're going to try and stick with these formations. They suit the players that we've got. And yeah, hopefully we can do well this season. Would like to really be challenging to see if we can get in second place in the league. Don't think we're going to beat FC Basel to win in the league. But yeah, if we could get in second and get into the Champions League qualifiers, that'd be amazing. Maybe even win the Swiss Cup, that'd be great. If you've enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more.